So now let's set up the environment for our Laravel Media Library package. And what we need first is Laravel app. So let's get the Laravel app. So open terminal here and I will say Laravel new uh, media lib for library. So while it's installing the Laravel app, let's go to browser and here search for Laravel media library. And the first result you will get is this GitHub Spaces Laravel Media Library. So let's now open this in a new tab. And here we will see all of the information related to uh, this package. But what I'm going to do instead of having this documentation, I will go to extensive documentation here where you will get everything related to this uh, package so how you can start and how you can install so here we have the installation and setup so now go and grab this copy it and let's see yeah it is done so let's close this and open this with our visual studio code and now open our terminal the integrated terminal for vs code so let's go and open integrated terminal and if you know the shortcut that's fine so here let's paste that and we will require this one so again while this is installing let's go to the documentation and let's see what the next process is which is we just have to uh, publish this one this migrations for our media library package and then we have to migrate and we have to migrate that means we have to firstly connect to our database so here we have the test database created already so i will go to dot env file and configure this so database name is test username is root and password is nothing so this is good so while this package is installing so let's go to the in introduction and postcard where what is that means spas is giving you all the packages free but it's not actually free what you have to do if you are using these packages the species packages any package in your project and then what you have to do you have to send a postcard and appreciate them by writing some of your experience related to their packages to this address it's just a simple gift for them from you and that will encourage them to continue these works and this is awesome thing so it's called postcard wares nice word okay now some of the requirements so requirement is php 7.1 plus and level 5.5 plus these are the requirement and mysql 5.7 plus and if you have used the older versions of this so you can find their uh, documentation or simply change that from here also and now we have the installation setup which is just going to complete in a few seconds after that what you have to do if you are having any kind of issue or you have any kind of question just go and click here to open the github repository for this uh, laravel media package and then you can go to the issues part and here you can create a new issue type your issue whatever the title and whatever the description you have and i'm pretty sure that within a half an hour within 30 seconds you will get your response from freak or from any other contributor so you don't have to worry about if you are getting error and even first i suggest you to search for error if you can't find then raise a new issue and then you will able to continue with this package so these are the simple thing which is you have to consider like the requirement and if you have any questions or problem just raise the issue so now our package is successfully installed so let's see what else we have to do we have decided yes we have to migrate get the migration so paste it and yes we have this migration on our migration folder so if i go to database migration yes we have a migration for creating media uh, table so this is good and now we have to run the artisan command so php artisan migrate 
hit enter and yes in our database now we have this media table along with user password reset and migration table so this table is going to have all the information of every kind of media you upload whether it is image whether it is video or pdf file jf files anything then next part is like you have to get the configuration part for the media library so copy and now paste this is going to have the configuration file which is you will find on your config folder and here we have media library.php so now you can see this configuration you can change so disk name disk name is public and what about this disk name where it is coming from so this disk name is actually from this file system so we have various kind of file systems where various disk so we have the local disk we have the public disk so all the media you upload you can access why this public and then we have s3 and here it's saying public which means you can access your media via this kind of url so this is good and next is maximum file size you want to upload to uh, your package like if you don't want to upload any video kind of things so this is good this is actually a uh, 10 mb so 1024 cross 1024 cross 10 means 10 mb but if you are uploading any bigger file like a word file or maybe pdf or maybe um, videos so you can have 100 mb so like that you can raise your maximum file size then if you are using any other queue then you can provide the queue name here is the actual media model you have seen that we have this media table and this media table has to have any model to connect with the database and this model is actually here but if you want to have your own model you can extend this model on that particular model and we will going to see then after if you are using the AWS Amazon web server s3 storage system then you can have this domain and obviously aws bucket name you have to provide on your dot env file anywhere here okay then these other things are good but ha huh, this is good responsive images as i have told you in the introduction this package create lots and lots of uh, responsive images and that images are super cool and they have various functionalities like width calculator use tiny placeholder and all of these things yeah, you can blur image also if you are uploading then we have these things that's okay and we have some other kind of optimizations for every kind of thing like jpeg png and svg gifs etc and let's now open again documentation and here what you have to do yeah this is good this is good yeah if you don't have these kind of things on your system maybe you have but if you don't have you can install easily maybe if you are uploading any project having this package you have to uh, get all these things on your ubuntu server by running these commands so these are super you can see this documentation take care about little parts also whatever the problem you may face in the future can be solved on this documentation so documentation is super so the next part is that we need to associate the model so we need to actually prepare our model so we are going to use our default user model which is already on our app folder so user.php we have now we have to extend this so like implements and we have to implement which one we have to implement this has media so has media and use it at the top and because it's a trait so we have to say like has media trait we have to use this one so now we have to use has media trait and use this one also and the last thing we have to do is like let's firstly create server php artisan serve so that we can access 
here also but you can see we don't have any login part let's just use our laravel default authentication system so php artisan make auth and this means if i refresh yes we have all these things so let's register so name is sathak bitfumes one two three four five six and one two three four five six hit enter and everything is fine and no avatar no profile tab but we will going to do everything from the next episode so this is all about the installation and setting up the environment from the next episode we will start associating or actually uploading file to this project via media library package so don't forget to subscribe like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram share these video with your developer friends so that everyone get the knowledge of best thing called laravel we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye